by Notre Dame All-American tackle Joe Alt, who's with us on behalf of USAA. Joe, thanks for joining us. Now, we're exactly a week away from the NFL draft. Got to ask you just how you're feeling. Yeah, you know, I'm obviously very excited. You know, it's uh, you know, a big step coming here in about a week, and I'm just, uh, you know, extremely grateful to be in the position I am and, you know, really looking forward to, uh, you know, what shakes out next Thursday and where I'm heading. All right, so you're not going to be attending the draft in Detroit. So where will you be? Yeah, I'll be here in uh, Minnesota, uh, where I'm from. Uh, you know, kind of for me, I'm one of five, so I'm a big family. So I wanted to make sure all the people who, you know, have allowed me to grow into who I am, both as a man and a football player, be able to be there and um, continue to show my, you know, my gratitude for them and their support for me is something that's very important to me. So I'll be here in Minnesota. That's great. I mean, that family special. We see all the great shots from the past, the great environment of the support. Love seeing that. Now, you've gone on multiple visits. Uh, what's it been like seeing how different teams handle these visits? Yeah, you know, for me, obviously been a super cool experience being able to, you know, step into the, the NFL element and, you know, see how different coaches coach and how different, you know, places are ran. And for me, I've learned a ton um, about, you know, the people and how they do things, but also, you know, the environment that's set up at these places has been something that I've, you know, taken a lot of notes on and mental images of how different places are ran. So for me, it was, you know, a lot of information to take in, but also a very exciting, you know, time, obviously. When you declare for the draft, you went back home to Minnesota. We've seen you on your nice cozy couch right now to live with your parents and to train there. Why'd you go back home? Yeah, you know, for me, like I said, my family is really important to me. And I think the biggest thing for me was to be able to rekindle those relationships with my siblings and with my parents and with my close friends and the people who have allowed me to, you know, become who I am. And I wanted to be able to, you know, show gratitude, but also reconnect with them and kind of hear how, you know, some of my friends, how their college experience has been going, you know, seeing some of my nieces and nephews who I haven't seen much who are, you know, super young. So for me, that was cool, kind of drove me coming back to Minnesota to be, be at home. Well, you know, speaking of family, we know you're the son of John Alt, the Chiefs, uh, the Chiefs Hall of Famer, uh, offensive tackle. What's been the best advice he's given you through this draft process? Yeah, you know, for me, my dad's obviously been a huge help both on and off the field football-wise, you know, really coaching me and teaching me to – you know, what football is and how to be a man. So obviously very important, but I think the biggest thing he's taught me here in this draft process and as this next step comes is kind of stay true to who I am and stay true to what, you know, has gotten me to where I am today. And that's my hard work and never let that, you know, go away. You know, something that we, he's always, you know, grilled into me is, you know, you want to be the hardest worker and you can always fall back on your preparation. I think that's been the biggest thing. Like, you know, it's the next step. It's a, you know, obviously talent increases, speed increases, everything increases. So you got to go back to, you know, what's gotten you there before and then just work even that much harder to continue to try to be successful at the next level. Love hearing that. Joe, you're also doing some work with USAA. Please tell us what you've got going on with them. Yeah, so I was able to partner with USAA here in the draft process, um, was able to head out to Detroit and uh, attend the Selfridge Air National Air Base and being able to go there and meet all the military members and hear their story was you know, very important to me. I grew up in a military family. Both my grandfathers um, served in the Army. So kind of being able to hear you know, what I've heard from them and through my parents and then being able to um, you know, meet these members and hear their stories and why they chose the military and you know, what they do was really, really cool for me, but also being able to fly up in a Black Hawk helicopter, something that, you know, for me, I, I think is the coolest thing I've ever done in my life. Being able to, you know, fly over Detroit, fly over the draft site was so special for me and something that, you know, I will always remember. It was a really great experience for me. Hold up, a Black Hawk helicopter? I mean, those things shake the earth when they go. I mean, what was that experience like? Yeah, you know, it was me and Bo Nix, and we were kind of joking around because they told us early it was going to be a windy day, so we might kind of get motion sick. So we were kind of both worried, like, oh, what's this really going to be like? And they had the vomit bags out and everything, and we were all, you know, <laughs> nervous right away. And then the, uh, the helicopter actually started up, and Bo looked over me, and I was like, yep, we're doing this. And uh, it was actually incredibly smooth once you got up there, but when you took off and landed, it was like, woo, you we were taking up fast. So, you know, it was, it was really cool. That was a great experience. All right, Joe, well, we're glad you got the bird's eye view of the draft site and wish you the best of luck over the next couple of days. Looking forward to hearing your name called next Thursday at the NFL Draft. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time.